What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video here on the Racing Games channel. Today we're taking a look at what we think is currently the best Gran Turismo 7 credit grind which can earn you up to 3 million credits per hour with the Tomahawk X VGT. So since update 1.11 deployed, credit rewards in Gran Turismo 7 have increased significantly following the fan backlash. This update also added new events with huge credit rewards. One of the best new events for farming credits is the Tokyo Express World Touring Car 600. This event has a 600pp cap, but a user on GT Planet has discovered an exploit that lets you enter the fastest car in Gran Turismo 7. With this exploit, you can farm credits in Gran Turismo 7 really quickly. So, how do you do it? Well, first you need to buy the Dodge SRT Tomahawk XVGT. In Brand Central, select the America region and head to the Dodge dealership. Here you'll then find the Dodge SRT Tomahawk XVGT. There are four Dodge Tomahawks, so make sure you select the right one. It costs 1 million credits, so it isn't cheap, but if you haven't already spent the 1 million credit reward Polyphony gifted to everyone as an apology for server downtime, you should be able to afford it. Plus, you'll make the money back in no time at all using this exploit. Normally, you can't enter VGT cars in this event. Happily, however, a user on GT Planet has found a way to nerf the Tomahawk X, bringing it below the 600pp cap. So once you've bought the Tomahawk X, you'll need to buy some parts from the tuning shop and create a custom tune to make it eligible. Here are the parts you'll need to get. From the club sports category, you'll need to get the power restrictor. From the racing category, you'll need racing hard tires and the fully customizable racing transmission. Make sure you have racing hard tires fitted. When tuning the Tomahawk X, Navigate to ECU and select Output Adjustment. Lower the output from 100 to 70%. Under Performance Adjustment, change the Power Restrictor from 100 to 70%. You'll then need to install the fully customizable racing transmission. Go to Transmission and just select it from the menu. In the Transmission section, open the Manual Adjustment Settings and adjust the values as follows. There should be a screenshot on the screen now, so just pause the video and get these values typed in. This takes some trial and error as the gear ratios will sometimes reset after changing them. Set the final gear to 5.130 first, then max out the third and second gear. Do the same for the first gear. You can then max out the third gear at a higher value. Keep repeating these steps until every gear ratio is set at the above values. With these settings, the Tomahawk X's PP value dips below 600, making it eligible for the WTC 600 race at Tokyo Expressway. This 12 lap race offers huge rewards. Winning the race rewards you with 550,000 credits. This increases to 825,000 with a clean race bonus. Normally this event takes around 25 minutes to complete, but it takes around 15 minutes in the Tomahawk X. With a clean race bonus, you can earn up to 3.1 million credits per hour using this method. With a whopping 2,586 horsepower and weighing only 749 kilos, the Tomahawk X is the fastest car in Gran Turismo 7 by a significant margin, capable of reaching 370 miles an hour with no tuning. Thanks to its active aero and insane power, the Tomahawk X VGT is a handful to drive. The race has a harsh 5 second collision penalty and wet conditions, so getting a clean race bonus won't be easy, but it's more than worth it. It's possible that Polyphony will remove the exploit in a future patch, so take advantage of this credit farming exploit while you still can. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, the current best credit grind in Gran Turismo 7 in our opinion. The race can be a little tricky, so it might take a couple of attempts for you to really master it, but once you do, you'll be earning credits in no time. I've been Toby for Racing Games, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in another one here on the channel very soon.